What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Savoy for a walk tour Wednesday. Again, I don't think I'm saying that right. I apologize. But uh, I did want to mention it's July 4th here. It's a big celebratory holiday, lots of fireworks. It's just about dusk. They've already started en masse, so we will definitely hear some fireworks during this video, so don't let that disturb you. Uh, and indeed, I'm staying home with Luca tonight just to make sure she's cool. It's her first July 4th, and yet she's been sleeping the whole time, even when she's been awake and massive ones have gone off outside. She doesn't even look, so uh, she is a trooper. Uh, but yeah, ultimately, I'm going to try to shoot as many videos as I can. Hopefully the fireworks aren't too much of an annoyance. In any case, I realized there was a track Graham had sent me that goes between, I believe it's a non-album track or, you know, single B-side, um, which comes between Mary is Coming uh, and Lackluster Me, uh, and that is October. Um, so I didn't want to wait till October because theoretically by then we'll be much farther along in the Savoy journey. So um, yeah, we're going to jump back and hit this one before returning to Lackluster Me. And yeah, you know, it's a month, it's, you know, there are things that happen in different cultures, different societies, you know, holidays and different um, feasts and so on. Um, so, you know, it could relate to something specific in that regard. It could be just like a backdrop temporally and seasonally, um, you know, depending on where you live. Obviously the seasons are flipped if you're in the northern or the southern hemisphere, but um, yeah, it makes me feel like it could be the backdrop to some more personal narrative it, that took place in October, some experience between people, um, or, you know, some personal narrative. So, let's find out what it is. This is Savoy. The tune is October, and I believe it's a non-album track that comes, uh, chronologically between, uh, Mary is Coming 1996 and Lackluster Bee 1997. <laughs> Yeah. 
at the very beginning it was giving me a bit of Beatles vibes, but not through the whole thing. It sort of, you know, had like a, I don't want to say psychedelic, but it definitely had a, um, a bit, uh, what's the, like abstract quality to it. Like there were arrhythmic noises, the vocal delivery felt, I don't know, echoed or like there was some effect on it. So, um, yeah, it felt like a bit more, um, like twisted atmospheric, um, than some of their other tunes. So, uh, yeah, cool. And, and it does seem like October and the cold wind and so on, it was the backdrop to a personal narrative two people who apparently aren't in immediate physical contact anymore and you know he's wondering you know what she might be doing she's probably already asleep but he's wide awake and so it feels like there was you know there was something there before that is no longer but then he's saying like you know I'm like I can ignore the loneliness time has taught me how and like oh by the way I'm missing you so then it, you know it feels like he's perhaps trying to convince himself of you know well I'm fine and I you know I will carry on even though he can't seem to stop thinking about this other person so I'm sure there's some layers I'm missing. Do let me know. Um, but yeah, a cool tune. Looking forward to going back to Lackluster Me and just, you know, getting to know Savoy's material more. So it's nice to be able to hit a non-album track. And I had kind of forgotten about this because um, I think it was, you know, made available at the same time that um, the next albums were. So in any case, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.